Welcome back to the Dutch love global warming. They probably don't in real life. I'm pretty sure they actually don't. But in this fictional universe and civilization, especially this game, they do. Why do they want global warming? Well, let me tell you. Last episode, we took over this Roman city here. And I was looking at their cities north of here. And there's nothing really too great. This city right here, Aquila, Aquilia, I don't know how to say that, is actually a pretty decent city. You have the Chicken Itza right there, so you have a couple of jungle tiles, which are pretty good. This one has a Colosseum, so we definitely wouldn't mind that, but Rome is the thing we really want. There is one problem, though. We can't attack it with these units. It's two tiles away, but we don't have the indirect bombardment that battleships do, and there's all these cliffs and hills in the way, so we cannot attack Rome until we get battleships. So what are we going to do in the meantime, now that we can't take Rome? So I wouldn't mind going after this city here, so that would require us going around this little peninsula in here, and we can bombard both of these cities and take them over quite easily. And then if we're there, we're like, oh, we're right next to Nubia. We can just hop, skip, and jump a little, like, five turns, like, two, three turns over and take over Moreau, which is should be extremely easy. However, we're allied with them. And if we look up north, we could bring all of our battleships up over here to the Kree Empire and then attack them. And we can also get the Angor Wat, but we're allied with them. So what do we got to do? We have to go east. Why do we have to go east? Because there's these stupid glaciers down here. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. We need global warming. Whoa. And there's a lot of, a lot of barbarians. Once we get global warming, there's a nice passageway to the south. So we can actually take over these two cities, take over the Nubian Empire, and then come south in this, boom, we're right on the German's border. Etchen is right there. Berlin is right on the, the coast. And then we can go up to Inca. Inca's capital is right on the coast there too. And then you know what? We need more global warming to get rid of these glaciers so we can go north and hit over back to the Korea Empire. So that is a circle of life around the world that we're going to, I guess, destroy. That's the plan. So what are we going to do right away? We're one turn away from industrialization to figure out where all the coal is because we need to mine all of it, build all these factories. So let's buy a workshop. There we go. Got industrialization. Come on, coal everywhere. I don't really see, I don't see any coal in our, oh no. Oh no. Eight results. Okay. That's not good. Oh, our island that we need to settle. Villainous. Okay. Okay. All right. I guess we're taking over Petui. Petulu? Petui. Go. This is, whoa. This is really, really quick. Okay. Three hits and it's ours. Free coal for us. This is a pretty big world congress for us. Let's see if everything works out in our favor. No many of these for dice. Oh, that's the exactly opposite. We wanted double wine. But thankfully, nobody hates our wine, which is a good thing. And yes, we got production. We put all our envoys into this one. So now we can build more units even faster. So as promised, we finally get this tribal village. Turn 176, 1150 AD. Come on, relic, maybe? Or 10 gold? Ideology. Oh, theology. Oh, man. Nationalism. Now we can get our fleets. Let's start combining our units together. All these all have one promotion. Uh, we can waste these promotion. That is, that is fine by me. Two era score for the first fleet in the world. Excellent. I guess the Germans are looking for excuse to go to war with Rome. Let's, you know, they'll, they'll slide us a little money underneath the table for their troubles. Even Pachacuti. Well, give us a little money to go to war with the Roman Empire. Even the Nubian Empire, who basically have no military, will give us give us some gold too. There is something definitely wrong with this. It is time to begin the siege on this Roman city. Let's see, that's... Ooh, this could take a little while. It's actually not doing t as much damage as I would like it. It's only down to 212. We took 100 off it basically in one turn. Our first coal mine of the era. Let's get that global warming started. Mega colossal eruption. Are you kidding me? I know, man. Oh, man. We got a great person, too? A great admiral. One promotion? Sure. We'll take it. We will take it. 
It looks like Rome has started bombarding our bombard. <laughs> but now we'll try to get some nice XP for that thing because you really need to upgrade these units to actually have them be really kind of useful. Oh, we can actually use catapults? <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen. And now, I think we got this city this turn pretty handily. Let's get some XP down to this unit and then take it over with the knight. Colosseum is ours. They will give us 55. Whoa, and the Shroud and the Holy Grail and all these cities that we earned ourselves. No. No. Plus 9, plus 9, plus 6, plus 6. These are amazing. And a plus 4 come er, her, harbor right up here. And a sweet plus 2 campus, which is actually the weakest thing possible. What did we just finish? We finished a spy factory. Why are we doing factories? So we can get coal power plants. We're getting coal. We're getting Phoenician Arsenal right over here. We're building a factory in this new, newly acquired Roman city so we can get another coal power plant because we want to get that global warming. Right now, there's nothing. Nothing. It's a shame. We'll just go with conscription for our military policy to give us 11 gold per turn. We're not going to do triangular trade because we want rationalism. Let's look at now, 140 up to 154.5. We're almost tied with the Germans now. Wow, Kree's at 149. How are we doing science-wise? Okay, the Romans obviously fell behind. Nubian's just been horrible the whole game. Kree has 39 technologies. We have 37. Incan have 41. The Germans have 42. Those are the ones. They're probably going right for their U-boats. Oh, crap, I forgot about the U-boats. Those things, those things are nuts. And here we go, siphon funds. That is the best one to go for when you're a spy initially. Okay, we got it from the Roman Empire. What do we get our promotions? Neutralized governor, or if caught on a mission, have a much higher chance to escape. Or cat burglar. Let's steal some great works. All right, we're still going on with our attack against this Roman city. We, we only have one. We can do a lot. Look at how much wall damage we can do with just that one unit. Just crazy. That is nuts. Upgrade this thing all the way. Can we capture the settler from the Roman Empire? We got it. We don't have to build settlers in our empire. I did just buy one in our eastmost city, Harum, so we can found a city to our east coast. And now we get this free settler from Rome. We can found a city right next to this coal. Yes, coal, yes. Here it is, our island, our lake. That was a lake, is now the Polder Lake. Look at this. Six food. Six food. This is five food. This is so much food. We're already at 18 population in our capital city. Crazy. 164 gold per turn. Not happening. We are just on the fringe of taking this city over. I'm waiting to our Corsair core actually, actually heals some. I don't want it to die. So that's what we're waiting for. And we get some XP this way too. Yes, our first power plant. Let's get this coal. Climate change. Um, only three. We need to get this going much, much faster. Let's see if we have enough health. We do. We have enough health to take... Oh, I should attack this thing. But we took over Roman's next city. 300 fortification health and 82 garrison defense strength. I guess we could pillage some districts and get that lower. But man, that would just... It would be really rough to try to attack that thing with some bombards. Let's go to war with the Nubian Empire. Just denounce. And then uh, we'll do a cast as well. Golden Age War. Excellent. Oh, how convenient. You have this crappy caravel right in the middle of the ocean. And another one down here we can go after. Let's just take these out. And there goes your entire navy. Finally get the city settled to the east of our lands and get this free builder and let's improve the coffee down to the southernmost island. I decided we're gonna found the city kind of in the middle of the island because then we'll get the nice housing bonus right here and we won't be around the flooded area. I wonder if the area floods in the future if we can actually build polders there. I guess I guess not in this tile because both these tiles will be flooded. But maybe maybe in a different tile. You know what? I paid the 270 gold because I didn't want to wait three turns for this. We're putting in skyscrapers because we're building a lot of wonders right now. What are we building? Venetian Arsenal, six turns. 
Mausoleum, because it only took us five turns, and now it's down to four. Roar Valley, 14 turns. That's just a ton of wonders going on right now. 27 goal per turn. Just insane trade routes. What are we here? 23.6. I'm not even trying to kind of optimize this because we get so much, it doesn't matter. Let's see. Can we take this over in one turn? We almost can. Actually, we can if we move this one. I don't know if we have enough movement to get down here. Two left? Oh, we do not. Oh, we could have taken it over in one turn. I guess we'll just take over this city. This is pretty crappy, though. Let's just raise it. Oh, my goodness. 9 and 12 damage. Like what do they do that for? Let's just... Let's just that's that, that's, we need revenge. We need revenge. We got it. Do we got, we got their city. We have their capital. This one might be a little tougher to keep because we're practically in the middle of nowhere, but we can't really raise it. It's a capital. Victor, you're going to solve all of our problems. Only minus eight. Boom. We got their capital. A lot of the issues basically solved once we get the monument done. Another escape art. Oh, we got gold. We need this gold badly. We got it. We got all the gold. Our spies are just crushing it this game. And a polder. There it is. The mausoleum is done. This is... We're going to watch this animation in its entirety. exquisite beauty. As no other shade can boast. Okay. Okay. It's done. Okay. The roads are done. Excellent. This is not really necessarily... Whoa. Okay. That, that did actually improve things a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That These tiles look really, 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 really good now. We don't even have ancient walls in our capital. Because we don't need it. They brought a builder down here. Those silly Romans. Why would they do that? We have this one musket man. Go down and get him. More coal. Seven production for this one population city. Just crazy. Now they definitely really, really want peace. Only nine gold? Is that what you're really down to? You have a lot more gold you can give us. No. Not happening. Special section of World Congress. Let's just vote one. Let's see, five people. Germany, okay, Nubia, of course, yeah. Nothing to be afraid of here. How dare you bring a trade route with our lands. Let's get rid of that thing. Here it is, this turn. Right now, we have the Venetian Arsenal. There we go, two wonders. Look at this thing. Now, we can build a lot of more. Because right now, we have a little bit of a problem. The problem is we're going to get mobilization next episode and we need to ma basically bake things. these things all fleets. Or no, they're armadas. We need to upgrade these to the battleship armadas. Have these things. We're getting four turns of battleship armadas. We can actually get it this turn if we really, really want to just buy this factory or coal power plant in Urek. But we're not going to because we need to save all of our gold to upgrade everything to battleships. All right. Thanks for watching.